Hello and hey, Tim Messer with Golf with your friends. This time going to be the Museum Classic Guide for 2020. The update, the release, I think I've been saying 1.14. It's actually 1.114, 1 so apologies for that. But we'll get right into these shots as Museum has become one of my favorite courses and possibly Team 17's best addition. Quick little addition I want to add in here while editing the video. I kind of found out that the first few holes, the first six and a half, seven holes do not have game sounds. I've, I'll splice in some audio from the course to make it not as, you know, quiet and weird. However, just heads up, the first six or seven holes do not have game sounds, and I don't know what happened. Anyway, enjoy the course. Hole number one, I'm going to go ahead and go straight forward, about one and a half power. Uh, you can kind of go any number of shots to get into this hole, but this is sort of my preferred method, and this is where we're going to be at for the hole in one. Hole two, I like to turn around myself and just go just above two power, a slightly bit to the right. Uh, I like to go this way because it's easier to visualize the power as just above two as opposed to kind of needing to hit a uh, more arbitrary like one and change. So I like that, but you do you however you please. Hole three, I need to go full power aiming at this tile, three from the left. Uh, you want to be pretty careful here. Uh, you can hit the hole and not end up going into the hole on the first way by. So you can make sure that you stay left on that intersection if you're going to miss. Hole number four. We like to go three and a half power aiming at this exact spot. It's not super exact. I shouldn't have said exact. That was probably the wrong word. But just get right around here. Three and a half power. Let it rip. Hole five, I like to go two tiles over and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles forward. Full power, just go when you're not going to hit any of the swinging logs or their little uh, cubes they have attached to them. Very straightforward, full power shot, very nice. Hole six, I like to come over here, go full power, kind of aim the tip of my cursor at the very edge of that wall that you see me hitting. If you end up in this particular spot, there's like three different ways you can end up, you know, missing left or right. Uh, we're going to go full power. I'll give you a little bit better uh, visual of what you're seeing on the other side here in a second. Kind of want to aim right here at full power. If you're further to the left, you want to kind of bank off of two walls, but because that's the perfect distance for the ball to kind of get choked out and uh, power wise and then kind of down into the hole, that's what I like to do from there. So hole number seven, being quick here, I got a hole in one by going three power off this corner at one time, and I haven't been able to replicate it. So good luck if you want to go for the hole in one like that, but a very, very close. And maybe if you get lucky, a hole in one, you can turn around about, you know, one tile to the left, two tiles behind us, three and a half power kind of aiming right, right there. We just weave in between all of these eggs and you like basically always end up with a shot. There's like 98% chance you'll have a shot uh, easily. And that's what we're going to be for hole number seven, an easy two with a very, very lucky one. Hole eight. Go two up that ramp and three from the left. Full power. Very straightforward. Easier to watch than to listen to me say so. Uh, this is one of my favorite courses, so we're going to go ahead and just leave it at that. Hole nine. I like to go... Like one tile left uh, near the end. This ramp going about this power. The timing is everything with that. You you don't have to, it's not very tight of a timing. I know I'm kind of slipping over, over over every single one of my words here, but there's just not a lot to add to these holes. They're very straightforward, and the front nine is very very good. Hole ten, three tiles forward, one to the left. Go three power. It's got a very wide window. I like to hit it a little bit tighter and bounce off of the wooden section right here because it gives us a little bit of extra speed and guarantees we'll get down into the bowl. You can do it like a plenty of different ways that are similar to that, just giving you my reasons why. Hole 11, 
There's kind of that, that far off trapezoidal pillar in the background. I like to aim just at the far right of it. Or kind of get my cursor very close to the edge of the tile you see it on right now. Full power. Use the far left wall and come back into the bolt. Hole 12. The timing is actually way more specific than I thought it was. We want to go about two and three quarters power. Aiming right about here. Wait for the air to come out before you sh before you release the ball. So as soon as you see it, release it. But don't try to jump the gun, otherwise you will mess up the power on the top of this ramp. But this one will always get you in as long as you release just after you see the air pop out of those vents. Hole 13. This one is probably the least solved of all of the holes, in my opinion. Maybe there's some crazy one out there. I just don't know what it is. But we're going to aim the right side of our cursor on the left side of that far trapezoidal block. We have a long way to go until we get control of our ball. But we're just going to let it go for now. Get to the edge here. There's plenty. And I mean, probably the most numerous number of twos. Almost of any hole. Because it's so wide open. But to kind of give you a good example of what I like to do. Full power again. Kind of aiming for the second tile up this little mini hill. And I wait for the... The ball to hit the wall with the sound and then I jump out because I didn't quite angle it right you see me miss here it is very very tight you can mess it up in two different ways both the timing and the aim so expect the three it's really easy as a three but it's possible to and considering that they're full power shots that's perfect next hole hole 14 about two and a sixth two and a fifth power aiming at the right side of this we want to hold jump as soon as we start going and then wait until we can get enough close to the hole and one and then jump out again i know that was very quick but that is exactly what was happening there in that quick shot next hole we go about two and three quarters power aiming near this line and our goal is to hit the middle of the divider piece in the middle but only after the first bounce because if we hit it on the first bounce we'll have too much power and roll through the bowl and again it's much easier to see what's happening than to describe what's happening but that is a hole in one on a par six Next hole, I like to shoot one tile to the left. Uh, and then I usually release when the cube is in the six o'clock position from there. The second shot, if it lets the camera, we go about one and a half power. I'm probably a little bit strong here, but just left of the, the, the trapezoidal pillar getting us down in the hole. And it's a very simple two. Again, par five. Hole 17. Uh, I like to aim towards the right side of this cat statue. By right side, I mean the side that is angled to the left. And from there, we want to go just over three power. Be a little bit generous with that power because we need to hit the top of the, the mini little village there. It's a pretty specific shot and you're more likely to miss than make. But because uh, it's, it didn't change that much with the physics changes, I, I'm able to hit it here. But don't be discouraged if you miss by a little bit. And then finally, hole 18, as we're zooming through this course, going to aim kind of anywhere, three power. And I say kind of anywhere because we just need to be on this side of the ramp down here because we're going to go up and skip a few levels by just full power launching ourselves. The closer we are to the wall on the left here, the more chance we have to get a three. I'm going to opt to not go for the three, but I'll show you. You kind of want to just full power off that wall to the left over here. Just like anywhere like this, but it's going to be very, very specific what power you're going to need. As you see here, I, I wasn't quite close enough to make it easier for myself. So we're going to go ahead and skip all that. What you can do for the much safer way is to go just under one power here. We go that because we want to kind of center up with this and make the easiest shot possible, of course, that we're going to lay up. And then we want to go just, just barely under three and a half power. Uh, the closer to center you are, the less power you could go. As you see, we hit the very top of that thing. But it's very straightforward, and even with that miss, we still get an eagle. So that's an easy four, a possible three, and a fun hole. Like I said, it's a fun course. It's probably one of my favorites. I know that I didn't do the best job explaining every single shot because they're all so straightforward for the most part. And like I said, down in the uh, description, in the first little intro bit and all that other stuff, this is probably my favorite course by Team 17. So... We'll just go on and get to making the rest of these guides. Hope this helped you in some way. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe, guys.